Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the Galaxy Opal Lamar Odom. This Lamar is the second Opal that I'm doing gameplay with. He is really intriguing to me as a top tier small forward because he's 6'10. I think he's going to be really good. Obviously, is a gambling only card. Not exactly a card I would, I mean, I don't recommend spending money or anything. I obviously don't recommend chasing and opening packs or anything like that, but I think he'll be a great card. And for example, like I got Iggy out of locking in the set of the pink diamonds. You might get Lamar Odom if you were to lock that set in, and he's a really Really good card so i think he's going to be a great option six foot ten interested to try the card out and see what he can do at the uh, small forward position before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the twenty five thousand subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe also massive shout out to my boy rhm for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay uh, appreciate that as well without further ado let's hop right into it so lamar is six foot ten at power forward or small forward i think he can play power forward at a very high level as well but i'm going to do him at small forward today 99 offense and and defense 94 driving layup 91 mid range 93 three ball 95 driving dunk 90 ball handle 94 block 90 steel 92 perimeter and interior 92 speed 91 speed ball 90 excel 92 vert 90 strength 95 stamina 91 lateral quickness very similarly to his diamond which was like 85 everything he's like 92 everything it seems like for the most part which is very good half fast twitch posterizer catch and shoot corner specialist limitless handles for days anchor clamps glove Pre rebound chaser precision dunker blow by speed booster rights to career bulldozer really good looking card all the way around he is missing one badge unfortunately does not have a movable enforcer which is a pretty relatively important badge also that you can't add which is a shame but i don't think that really holds him back that much i think he will still very much be in the top tier of small forwards which is guys like sean marion lebron rudy gay james worthy uh tyrus thomas obviously from today's drop guys like that are your best small forwards in the game lamar odom is very much going to be in that discussion at very worst he looks like he, oh he's got trey behind the back really solid front escape as well oh my goodness lamar odom is uh, he's, uh, he's gonna be a hooper oh my whoa he's tough his movement is actually really really solid too um i gotta go pull up 2kdb and just see what his sigs are looking like real quickly kobe dribble style kd's escape which is a teensy bit slow but definitely not a bad one it's the one he's got right here and i don't think that's honestly i, I don't mind kg kd escape at all um trey behind the back obviously is really good and his behind his drag back is He's got pro, so uh, I mean, definitely a one that we can we can work with. It's a good drag back for sure. Now, same side burst. He's got uh, one of the garbage same side hezies, which is Luca's same side hezzy, which is very garbage. So unfortunately, that's not ideal. But outside of that, I mean, he looks phenomenal. He's a very athletic finisher. He's six ten, super long wingspan, smooth, easy release. Overall, very solid six. The same side hezzy isn't great, but overall, he's a really nice looking card. And he's got pro two fade as well. He's a lefty, which makes it a little different in terms of the animations you're gonna get. But if you get down, get him down there, really easy to both sides so overall this Odom card is going to be a beast and I'm really excited to try him out let's hop into a game let's see what Lamar Odom can do all right our opponent has a good team Austin Reeves uh Iggy Siakam Jokic and Powell that's a really good squad my team is better uh this dude Jerry whose account I'm on is pretty crazy I'm not gonna lie his team's ridiculous so uh we got ourselves a really good team here and Lamar Odom I did actually decide to put at the four based on the account that he had I think he fits best at the four here and I mean he's again he's 6'10 so like he's got a lot of size gets blocked first possession by Pau Gasol that wasn't a great take I didn't really beat him off the dribble and I kind of went up with it anyway probably shouldn't have but good defense here step up B-Roy let's contest very nice very nice very good get through the screen um step here the thing is at 6'10 like is Pau Gasol really a mismatch i don't think so that's the value of a lamar of a lamar Odom. he's he's always been very um i would say Giannis esque in a lot of ways in my team i don't know how Cade cunningham got switched onto Jokic there but that's definitely not what we wanted uh matchup wise but let's go pick and pop here see if we can get ourselves going downhill with Cade cunningham get odom off of a pop right here there we go we'll go same side and now we got to reject the screen drag back there we go now now we got to go around him though i ah, i'm not loving that so far man he, he helped out the corner i'm sure he didn't mean to do that but i will take the wide open three there and um it turns into an assist i don't love the lack of a same side hezzy that's such an annoying feature that like really limits him as a playmaker in some ways because using that same side burst is a big deal and him having a garbage one where i have to go diagonally up to trigger it at all is very annoying at the same time pro 2 fade is very good we get to the fade there get ourselves a mid-range and knock it down very nice shot first bucket with odom um his release standing still is very good he's a versatile 610 very good defensive card he's a very athletic finisher and his sigs are okay they just could be better is kind of what i'm saying look at odom i mean not odom our test making plays and one thing to remember odom does have the trey young behind the back so i can drag back here escape behind the back reset it we'll go pick and pop here same side burst uh attack downhill by brandon roy stop here dribble penetration again drag back escape attack 
to the rim, and I'm tired. I get blocked again. Pau Gasol on this off ball is hooping right now. You know what is really, really, really annoying is that as all these cards are really, really good, unfortunately, off ball defense is still damn better than all everything else that you can pretty much do on this game. So this dude can hard off ball, and if I don't touch a screen, I'm never going to score. It's super fun. Um, Step through there. I didn't score. It's just really annoying that when players don't touch the screens, you literally just don't score against hard off ball. It's very, very low skill to play against. Like this dude I'm playing against sucks, but he can sit in the corner on his center and it gets him a pretty good amount of stops, which is honestly kind of sad, but it's also the truth of the game right now. Um, I'd like to the spacing. is just isn't there. He's going to get a three second. I think, yep, he got three seconds. I couldn't get it out there in time. I probably could have called a time out there to prevent the three, but I saw that coming. That's annoying. Just didn't space quite like I want to. His dude's just sitting in the corner on his center. You know what's funny is I can sit in the corner on my center too or my Odom or whatever. Just sit in the corner and not interact with the play. And you're also not going to score. The only problem is you're a lot less skilled offensively than I am. So I know how to beat it. So I'm probably going to score, especially in like an unlimited game. I'm going to beat this dude. This dude though, can he score against a mainly off-ball defense? The answer is probably not. There you go. I X switch. I pick it up and sorry, you're not scoring. I can also play with very low skill in an effective way if you'd like me to. But I don't think this dude wants me to do that. That's the funny thing is the people who do that generally play with this play style most of them kind of suck uh is what i've noticed so attack downhill hit it inside to hakeem good spacing but i just I'm, am i really bro attack the rim back up top hakeem will take an assist you know what open three balls and open three ball i'll take the bucket good shot he's just getting a little tired i the lack of a same side burst is getting on my nerves his behind the back is good and he's got a decent escape but i don't love kd's escape either his sigs could definitely be better now they could also definitely be worse he's definitely still a very good card but i i do wish his animations dribbling wise were probably a little better that's if, if i'm if i'm nitpicking and trying to find things that i don't love that would be it his release catch and shoot is obviously good but again i don't think his release is like i don't think i'm exactly gonna just i just can't shoot that i wish i could shoot that but he just sits on his center and it's really hard to score dump down odom please finish and he doesn't finish because iggy is just a really half move enforcer half anchor really good defender it's just the way they designed the game this year really good defenders destroy in off ball defense and it's just i've complained about it all year and i'll continue to because it's still really garbage luckily this dude stinks so it doesn't really matter how much he off balls because he there you go he finally clicked on ball as well dump it down here is this pal oh, i thought that was austin reeds i should not be drop stepping him it worked oh my goodness nice drop step nice finish lamar odom i'm surprised that worked but he does finish the dunk off of that very nice i did not expect a drop step on pal gasol to work very well but i tried it anyway and we got a dunk out of it we'll take that um step up contest your shimmy hook imagine shimmy fading me no I'm not worried about none of that. That stuff does not work in my team, bro. It might work in real life. It does not work in my team. Good defense. You are caged. Maybe you should play a little more skillfully defensively, uh, and I'll show you a little more respect. But the way this dude has played all game is not a way that I'm very impressed by. And yeah, we may not have a high-scoring performance here by, uh, by, Lamar, by Lamar Odom, but I know he's a very good card. So that I am not worried about. Definitely a very good option at the power forward position. Really good dunker, super athletic, showing it off there. Late in the game, getting a couple of dunks, even though he's tired, still managed to get a couple of pretty impressive dunks. Love to see it. Bad pass there. Our ball. Throw it up to Mr. Odom, please. We're just, I mean, dude, I tried to throw that pass six times. Eventually, it finally got through. Spin. Odom inside. Standing dunk. Oh, my gosh. Austin Reeves, you're too little. Let's go. Lamar Odom. Way to finish the game athletically. Didn't get to showcase much shooting besides that one mid-range fade that I hit, but we're going to come out of here with a pretty dominant win, and I got to say wish <laughs> it's not the high scoring win that i'd like but at the same time it's it gets the job done you know what i mean and lamar was a very good card it does a lot of things well i wish his sigs were a little better if i'm gonna nitpick you know what i mean and that does he's not he doesn't separate himself he's a gambling only card who's not like head and shoulders over anybody else in fact there are better non-gambling small forwards than this odom is as a gambling only small forward so definitely think there are better options overall um and i would certainly wouldn't gamble for him but i think he's a great card he's a top five small forward in the game there's no doubt it's just He's not worth gambling for. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.